Good morning, modern steaders. We got about two inches of rain last night, and it's been raining steady on and off all morning. You probably know the direction of this video by the title and the thumbnail, but as of right now, I don't know what we're doing today. They were talking about coming to stop bringing in some gravel today and working on the site work for the new barn, but with all the rain we got last night, I don't know if that's gonna happen yet. <laughs> Well, it's raining cats and dogs now. Holy moly. Look at all those puddles. Good morning, piggies. Look at all that rain. Ah. So much rain. <laughs> Catch some dry grain, huh? I'm hoping it dries out. We can let the baby goats outside again today. Good morning, girls. Did that rain keep you up last night? It was pretty loud, huh? Hey, Willow. Did you sleep good last night? Oh, that rain keep you up, huh? You guys like the rain? We don't know what that is. We slept. I'm thinking the baby goats are so tired from their first day of playing outside yesterday. I don't see any puddles in their area. That's good. It's supposed to be in the 70s today, so if it's not raining out, the baby goats can go back outside. Come on, we're going to NYC. This is where that's supposed to start. And the crazy white chicken looks tan from all the mud she's been in, I guess. You guys are all wet. Ducks, though, you like that, don't you? I'm glad we've had the greenhouse to keep the meat birds in this season. I normally have them out on pasture by now and I'd like to have them on pasture, but I'm pretty sure if we did, we would have lost probably at least five by now. And so far, being out in the greenhouse, we haven't lost any of them. It's like a foggy mist out this morning. Yeah, but it's nice and warm. It is warm. I like to have it warm. Yeah, warm rain, I'll take it. Yeah. Have a good day at school. Okay. Don't get too wet. Okay. Love you. We're gonna make some baby back ribs tonight for dinner. We're gonna be making our own barbecue sauce. We're gonna need one cup of ketchup. We're gonna be using a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Eighth of a cup of brown sugar. Half of a teaspoon of honey. and then half of a teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce, however you say it. Everywhere around the world has a different way of pronouncing that, that's for sure. Half of a tablespoon of lemon juice. We'll just eyeball that one. I'm gonna add in some paprika. ticket. Mm, that's some good barbecue sauce. We don't like hot and spicy stuff, but if you do, you could add in some hot sauce. 
we're more of a sweet family. I'm gonna cook the ribs in a slow cooker for eight hours. I'm gonna give it a good spraying with a cooking spray. Hopefully it'll clean out easier. We have some baby back ribs right here from the pigs we raised and harvested on our homestead. Come on low for eight to ten hours. That's gonna make a nice dinner. While it's still raining out this morning, we're gonna take advantage of it. Got a few errands to run, and we gotta bring Pluto to the groomer. It's time for Pluto to get her spring haircut. Thank you. Well, we got our balling gun to give our copper bolus to the goats this way. You having fun back there? Wonder how the dam's doing with all the rain we got last night. Next time we see you, you're gonna look so different. While it's nice out right now, let's let the goat babies out. They'll have some fun. Ow, oh, being wet made everything tight. Hey Willow, you gonna come out? It's nice out. At least for a little while it's gonna be nice. Hey there little pea, you coming out? Good morning, little P. We gotta figure out a name for her. I think with the male, we're gonna keep calling Little Man for now. We're not sure if we're gonna keep him or if we're gonna sell him. And we don't wanna name him just in case the new owners wanna change his name. We had to put some blue coat on Willow's head if you're seeing her purple hairdo. She keeps headbutting the wood slats for the wall divider in the milking room. When any of the bigger, when any of the other goats come near her baby, she headbutts it and tells them to stay away. And she got a little bit of a worn spot in her head, so we put the blue coat on there. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there then. You girls should be out. It's nice and sunny out. Enjoy the weather. We leave for two seconds, and you decide to come out. I see how you are. You want some hay? I'm gonna put your hay up here on the spool. <laughs> there you go, Willow. You can have some hay on your spool. You girls are silly. You love the stairs? Yeah. Oh my. I gotta go in and work on editing a video. The schedule might get a little wonky for me because I'm gonna be doing the electrical conduit and I don't wanna mess up them when they're digging the ditch. So the next couple of days is gonna be interesting. This morning we had to run down to the electrical supply store to get some of these electrical conduit 90 degree elbows that are three feet long. This is a normal one, and what everybody keeps telling me is when you're burying your electrical conduit, don't use these short 90s. It's a pain to pull the wire through this. Get the three feet long ones. I mean, look at the size difference.
In order to get these, I had to take a ride to our electrical supply store. Lowe's and Home Depot only carried these little ones. I wanted to thank a couple of our viewers to our surprise when we've gone to the P.O. Box. There's been some generous donations for what some viewers are calling the barn fund. With the money from that, we were able to buy all the electrical conduit we need, and we're going to be able to have all the electrical conduit buried while they're doing the site work. We were hoping to be able to run electricity down to the barn, but we didn't think we were going to be able to do it right now. But now, thanks to you guys, we can. So that's awesome. This is going to be a huge accomplishment. It's going to be so nice having power down there right from the beginning. I shouldn't say power. We're going to have electrical conduit down buried in the ground for now. And then later on, we'll be able to add the power. They just dropped off some driveway mat. What it is, it's like a big heavy duty weed barrier. We're going to put it down on the lane. That way, that goes down first, and then we're gonna put our gravel on top of it. So in the springtime, when it's muddy like it's been, the mud doesn't come up and get mixed in with the rocks. It can still get squishy and move and stuff, but it keeps the mud mixing from the rocks, so we won't have to keep adding more gravel. They're here digging the ditch. Time to get the conduit glued up and ready to go. Clean the pipe nicely. Prime it. Push and then hold it till it stays. Hold. Little 
further. Yeah, that's good. Let me get some glue on it. All right, we'll go to you some. All right, push it forward. There we go. Hold it for a second. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> Two inches of rain last night. The water's flowing good down here. Gonna need to dig a pond. <laughs> it just started getting wet down here. Got some pipe laid, now we gotta put some tape over it. Just a quick heavy downpour, just enough to get us wet. They have the right idea. Yep, we got some water. Oh, what are you three and four doing, I should say? 
You like them stairs? Gina had a good idea, huh? good right there looks pretty straight Want to see some baby goats? Yeah. Oh, there's a Figaro. Figaro does too. Yep. Oh, baby goats. Oh, they took over their water. Yep. Hey, Willow. Where's the little man? What are you doing in here, little man? Huh? I'm gonna go check on the other goats and give Willow some water inside. Can you handle keeping an eye on the babies? Yep. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, they like Figaro. Figaro's were like, mm, I don't know about this. You crazy. Now you're gonna come down. What do you think of Figaro? Huh? Hello, man. You trying to get up there, little pea? Huh? Oh, Figaro. You want to say hi, little P? Oh, hello. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, now they want to drink. Oh, you think you're the goat princess? Yes. You feel like a goat princess? Yes. Yeah. Okay, since all the goats are going in, we're gonna go collect some eggs. Yes, so. They don't like the rain. No. Nope. Watch out for the holes, guys. Don't fall in it. So they ended up cleaning up the guck in the lane, and then tomorrow we'll gravel. They'll gravel it. Looks good already. Yeah, it does. You guys liking the rain? Quick, the rain's coming. You can go back in the house if you want. Take the dogs with you. Go to the house, Tanner. We'll walk up the lane with the eggs. Oh, this is gonna be so nice once it's all finished. Part. It's homemade barbecue sauce. Smells good, it smells good. Look at that. Nice hat. Thanks. Boy, did that feel nice. We got the first phase of the dirt work done for getting the barn down there. Oh, we got the electrical conduit done. We're gonna be putting a um, culvert in. They got that dug. They got some of the muddy slime scraped off the top of the lane so we'll have a better base to work with. Tomorrow is the next day, the next phase. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if you all know or not, but our friend Justin Rhodes from the Justin Rhodes YouTube channel is doing a permaculture pig video documentary. He's going to be interviewing Joel Salatin. There's two other pig farmers. I can't remember their names right now. And I'm going to be in the documentary with them. We're going to be talking about how we raise pigs here at our homestead in the springtime. I think we get a pretty simple setup. It works really well for us. We've been raising pigs for over 10 years now. We've raised them in the winter time with a really simple setup outside and we've had great success. So we're going to be sharing that in this documentary. We're going to be also talking about our pasture pig mobile and how we're going to be using that. If you guys have any other questions about how we are raising our pigs or how we raise our pigs, leave them in the comments down below and I'll add that. Justin is doing a Kickstarter to help fund the whole video project. So basically a Kickstarter is you go ahead and you pre-buy whatever level you want to pre-buy the video packages in and you get it heavily discounted. I think it's at least 50% off if not more. If you don't want to do the Kickstarter when he has the documentary done, you'll be able to purchase the video at that point. But I'll leave a link in the description down below to the Kickstarter if you guys want to check it out. We're excited to be in it. This, there's going to be so much great information in it from Joel Salatin. I love that guy. It's going to be pretty neat to see what what he has in the video so thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys it's been a crazy day here in the homestead and the next few days are going to be crazy too but we're going to get the videos out to you 
You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.